Now we would like to find a unit vector along the tangent line at this point to the graph of this curve and you can check that these values of the coordinates they satisfy this equation. So for tangent line first we note that the slope of the tangent line at x equals pi over 3 will be what the value of the uh, derivative at x equals pi over 3 and we have 2 cosine x. So the derivative would be negative 2 sine x and if we compute the derivative or the value of the derivative at pi over 3 then that would be negative 2 times what is sine pi over 3 that is the square root of 3 over 2 and the 2's cancel and then we simply get the square root of 3. Alright, so let us write the equation of the tangent line in point slope form. So, this is the slope and the, these are the coordinates of a point on the line. So, in the point slope form the equation would be written as y minus 1 is slope times x minus and then the x coordinate here which is pi over 3 and if we go ahead and open the brackets and solve for y the equation changes to excuse me square root of 3 x okay and then plus now I am multiplying these two. So, what will happen? We will get simply a square root of uh, 3 times pi over 3. All I did was I multiplied these two values here and then transfer this one over here. So, this is the equation of the tangent line in the slope intercept form. So, now to construct a unit vector first let us just construct a vector and then we will multiply the reciprocal of the length of the vector. Okay. So, let us choose x coordinate of another point on this line and here to keep simple I mean we see we already have uh, you know transcendental values here. So, we cannot get whole numbers very easily. So, the x coordinate here was pi, pi over 3. So, in this case we are taking pi over 3 plus 1 that is when we construct the vectors these will cancel and let us see what y for this particular value turns out to be. So, here we go we will write pi over 3 plus 1 in the place of in, in, in the place of x and uh, then uh, what we will get is that we will get uh, I mean you can see things cancelling even when I am typing it here. Okay, So, this is this over 3 and then minus square root of 3 okay, and uh, then plus the quantity is here and you can see after the cancellations what do we find that uh, the point correspond the y coordinate of the point corresponding to this x coordinate is here again these two cancel. So, we get negative a square root of 3 plus 1. So, now that we have two points on the tangent line, okay, points on the tangent line, okay, are one of them has coordinates these, okay, and uh, the other one has these coordinates, okay. And if we construct a vector, how can we do that? We simply have, we will take the first coordinate here minus the first coordinate here 
okay all right and then the y coordinate here okay and then subtract the y coordinate in the of the initial point and this would be what so we have a vector as a pi over 3 and pi over 3 cancel so sorry so we get a 1 and here 1 and 1 cancel so we simply get negative square root of 3 okay now you can notice that uh, the magnitude of this vector is how much that is uh, simply or oh, if you square 1 and square negative square root of 3 you will get uh, square root of 1 plus 3 so that will be simply how much a 2 okay so uh, a unit vector along the you know, along the tangent line and of course we can get two unit vectors the other one will be in the opposite direction so that would be what we will just go ahead and multiply this by the reciprocal of the magnitude of this vector okay so you know so th this is one way to do it you can find an easier way